Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> You're welcome. What's all this? Richter's Herbs. Oh, sale. Mother plants twenty dollars. <laughs> Amanda, are you getting excited for this? I am getting excited. That looks like fun. <laughs> wow, you're always talking about making fairy yeah. houses and stuff. That's so cool. Yeah. You could have a whole little fairy garden. Oh my god. I love that you're so connected to that realm. What about all this? Ooh, essential oils. Okay. Ash staff for assistance. There's cedar wood. Ooh, pink grapefruit. From what I know, it's like energizing any of the... Oh yeah. Is it? You can smell like that really sharp. Oh. It's very sharp. Like if you had a shower it's very gel sharp. with that yeah. in it, oh. that'll yeah. energize. Nutmeg? Ooh, nutmeg. That's nice. Mm, spicy. Mm, yeah, very spicy. so spicy. Um, Reminds me of like eggnog where you put the nutmeg on yeah. top. Lily of the Valley. Vegan eggnog. <laughs> oh, that's... Maybe that one's for you. Oh my god. There's even like a hint of vanilla or something. Yeah. To it. I like essential oils so much. Forget about too. all the fragrances. So so toxic neurotoxins endocrine disruptors mm. crazy for hormones you don't want to be on any perfumes or fragrances yeah yeah this is wi oh, winter green want to try winter green fermenting whoa that's like a chewing gum or something that's right yes pyramid Oh, here's Lang Lang. Amanda's very good with essential oils. I went into her home today and she had diffusing these sage oils. That reminds me of my first ayahuasca ceremony. They oh, came with ylang ylang flowers. <laughs> they like cleared oh. all our chakras and like shook it down yeah. our body. Kind of like I do at our uh, healing circles when I use the, yeah. um, what did I use? Some kind of leaves. I just used mm. leaves. Nice. Very fun. Let's go into the other greenhouse. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cause like I don't have any like little pots or anything just yet. Mm. What are you thinking? Are you gonna get some? I don't, I'm not sure. No, I, I feel planning. like we should. <laughs> I was planning. How affordable do you think each one is? I don't think they're bad. This is the most herbs I've ever seen in any one spot. I'm super excited. Super blue lavender, a terrific new lavender from Holland. Wow. Deep violet blue flowers. Ooh, this one's already budding. It's very hardy and adaptable to both dry and wetter growing conditions. Hmm. Lemongrass. Gotta make a good soup with that. I didn't realize it just grows like that. That's so cool. Mm. Lemon leaf. Oh my god, it kind of looks like that toilet paper herb <laughs> you find out in the in nature when you have to use I'm the so woods as your loo. <laughs> it looks like that. I love the um, stem. Is it fuzzy? It is fuzzy. <laughs> I love it. It's very stiff. Lemon leaf. Cool. Oh, it smells good. Is it lemony? Yeah. Really? Mmm. Wow, I wonder if you can ingest this one. It says very vigorous and easy to grow as a container oh, plant in right. a sunny window. Try in so dessert syrups, summer iced teas, Whoa, fruit salads. Fruit salads. Yum. Okay, I'm going to definitely come and get some cool herbs soon. Yeah. That might be a nice one to get. Ooh. It's getting some. Oh, lavage. This is one of the ingredients in the Alka herb tea. I've never actually seen it in real live form. Mm, look at it. 
it has all these L ones, like the alka herb tea, the kidney tea I use. It has like okay. a lavage, lemon balm. Um, I don't know. There's so many L herbs in there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so it says a re reminiscent of celery and of the famous yeast extract. Lavage? Yeah, that's interesting. What I'm Can replace meat and bone stock in soups. So good. So good. This side has some rosemary. They have so many varieties of rosemary. Mmm, it's very rosemary. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The aftertaste, guys. Because of the essential oils. It's like intense. Yeah. It's a little bit much. <laughs> I spit mine out. Yeah. <laughs> Red raspberry. We're always giving to women who want to get more breast milk going. Mothers to be. Oh my gosh, Amanda. Poke root. Do they have any? I don't know what this one is, but it's, it's... piss off plant. <laughs> this is a piss off plant. Does that mean that like it stinks so bad so yeah. that you run away? Cats, it's... dogs, and rabbits will never go near it. That's amazing. <laughs> and look, guys, this is like a really heavy um, lymphatic herb, and they even talk about it like for cancerous ulcers, rheumatism, arthritis respiratory infections and that's actually probably one of the only herbs i've seen that has any medical stuff on the label mm. and that's because it's like very heavy lymphatic cleanser like it actually has high toxic um high mm. toxicity if okay. you consume too much okay. it's very powerful poke root blood root your chaparral those are your lymphatic herbs a few of them very good got to get the lymph moving